So look who showed up to our first hey, Vulcan robotics meeting Yay. after seven months. Look at the Russian chocolate. She goes to Brown game, right? Yeah. And the shot glass that. Yeah, I've known her for a while. And I got this. Because really into like. Yeah, she was in the immunology group. Oh. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I was supposed to be in like the genetics group, but like, I was supposed to do it. Alright, so Pratik here. I wonder what he's doing with the bandsaw. Yeah, you're right. But he got his safety goggles and his gloves ready. So go yeah, fatigue. Like, take a picture of our old yeah, um, I'm just making a cut uh, for a little piece of Lexan that's going to be used on um, the new lift that we're currently constructing. So now the bandsaw is going to be put into action. Don't kill yourself, fatigue. Nice cut, nice cut. Throughout the entire season, if you use a bandsaw instead of the typical hacksaw, you will be saving hours of your time. So, what are you guys doing right now? Um, so we're replacing the set screw hub, the D bore set screw hubs with. Are they called O bore? I don't know. They're, they're, <laughs> they're basically they're just regular circles. They yeah, the with like, shape of the okay, with regular circles because when we tried to chain it, like the D bore set screw hubs got in the way, so we're we have to okay, replace. Yeah, them. well, I mean, okay, it was the D bore clamping hubs that got in the way. Okay, so but the yeah. set screw one's the one without the. Yeah, it, it has. It doesn't have the top. Okay. Oh, All right, okay. nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can. So what did we just finish? Okay, oh, so we just finished oh, attaching the bolts on, and uh, we also finished replacing the screw hubs, the, uh, the tightening hubs, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we're about to start uh, chaining it. Yay! Okay. Sure. We finished um, chaining the one side of the robot. Um, so we have basically how the the chains were uh, that we have two motors that uh, yeah, all connect to one chain that's connected to two of these wheels um, and we do that by um, doing this s-shape pattern here and we do this s-shape pattern because um, it provides more surface area for the sprockets to actually attach to the chain oppo as opposed to having the chain over just just over the top of them um, and then we we chain the middle wheel to the first wheel so that they all turn in the same direction. Now we're going to start building the second side. Yay.